Exactly. Now, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about what we've been talking about of late. We, we, we spoke about this a couple of weeks ago, and that is, of course, BHP reunifying and what potentially that could mean on the M&A front. Now, we actually had the chance to speak to, to Mike Henry yesterday. Obviously, he's going to keep a little bit mum about their M&A prospects. But speaking to Freeport today as well, and he didn't really want to say anything, but there was, I suppose you could take some kind of implication that some talks had progressed. So where are you sitting right now in terms of how you think all of this situation is going to play out? Well, look, I think the writing is fundamentally on the wall here. So let's look at exactly what BHP announced yesterday. They reduced and widened their net debt target. Now, I just want to be clear, like if a current spot price if they were sustained, what this means by the end of the year is BHP would have between 18 and $28 billion to either give back to shareholders or spend on M&A. Um, and it sounds like they're going to have to gear up for some M&A because without M&A, BHP remains a shadow of its former self with no real material growth catalysts or really any catalyst outside the macro uh, iron ore and copper uh, trends for the next decade. And so we think it's inevitable they're going to engage in M&A. And the question really is on that scale. So as you say, when you speak to uh, BHP's management, just to be clear, they're saying all the right things about the M&A agenda. They're talking about maintaining discipline. They're talking about not getting carried away. Um, in valuations as they pivot towards future patient commodities. But I think the concern that we have and many in the market have is, is that talk going to translate into actions? Because if you look at the actual track record just over the last 18 months, you've already seen BHP sell the Serogen Coal as asset and, in fact, pay Glencore to take this high-quality asset off their hands. So that actually starkly illustrates that BHP does have a recent track record of destruct, value destructive M&A in the pursuit of its future-facing pivot. So we've, we've mentioned, you know, companies like Freeport, we spoke about last time, uh, uh, Glencore's um, kind of non-dirty divisions, Bali's based metal business, uh, Antipagasta, First Quantum, Anglo, these are all businesses that if BHP were to make a large-scale acquisition, we think these could be in the target range, uh, particularly because of a view we think BHP has, which is positive nickel and copper in the medium to longer term.